What if I told you that the next pandemic is already here? Would that surprise you? Let's dig into it. Welcome to Not Timmy 66. Hey. Back to Not Timmy 66. Thanks a lot for tuning in. So disease X, that's what we're going to discuss today. And we're also going to discuss, I think, up front and most vital is that this disease has the potential to spread thanks to how we handled the last pandemic. It's already been proven that millions of American and millions of citizens and millions of uh, billions of people worldwide feel misled misled by the CDC, and they feel misled by the World Health Organization the last time around. So this time, when the real balloon goes up as far as this pandemic goes, millions of Americans and millions of people worldwide are going to look at it and go, wait a minute, last time you tried to warn us about some kind of a pandemic or something like that, we were fed a bunch of misinformation, we were also fed partial truths and the real truth of the, the, the entire situation didn't come out for years afterwards. So now you're telling me I need to prepare again. They aren't going to trust it. And experts are saying because of the fact that there's that mistrust out there that we did ourselves, we did this to ourselves because of that people aren't going to be prepared, which is going to allow disease X to spread much wider before realization sets in. So instead of waiting around for the next big plan-demic, not pandemic, plan-demic to happen, I don't think we have to wait very long. And as a matter of fact, it's already here and experts are highly concerned about it. The H5N1 other no, otherwise known as the bird flu. Everyone's known about it for years, right? And it hasn't been a big concern. Why is it such a big concern now? Well, because it's beginning to jump species. The H5N1 or the bird flu was exactly what it was. It was a flu that infected and was killing off millions and thousands and hundreds of thousands of birds. But birds' biology and stuff like that is not very similar to our own human biology. So the concern wasn't super great at that point. It was, but the disease has jumped. They have detected it in cattle now. And they've even gone so far as to detect it in dolphins in the ocean, coming down with the H5N1 virus. So the virus itself is beginning to mutate and spread to other species. So my question is, what about the people, if it's in cattle, what about the people that handle the cattle? What about the people that um, work with livestock every day? Let me get rid of this. There we go. What about the people that work with livestock every single day? How long is it going to be before the H5N1, disease X, the bird flu, call it whatever you want to call it, makes the jump to humans. And again, when it does make that jump to human beings and the warning cry goes out from the World Health Organization, the vaunted World Health Organization and the vaunted CDC, who's going to believe them? And by then, it may be too late. Oh, and as a matter of fact, not only is it jumping species in, you know, from birds to cattle, which is a food source, obviously, to dolphins, but the H5N1 has already actually been detected in people. Oh, and just a little caveat to that one. Just reported a few days ago, I believe it was, the H5N1 has now been detected in nine Texas cities' water supplies. 
not the risk of sounding like a fear monger. I'm not trying to be one. There actually is an H5N1 virus um, inoculation or, you know, a vaccine against it. But the problem is, is that it's not stockpiled. And if the H5N1 virus does go to a pandemic level, they're not going to be able to catch up quick enough before it spreads worldwide. So yes, we do have a vaccine for the H5N1. But again, we're not going to have enough time in a pandemic situation where it just, boom, explodes over the entire populace of the world for us to be able to receive any kind of a vaccine. And if you're anything like me, you really kind of want to know what's in the vaccine before you get it, right? Just a thought. And consider what happened the last time a pandemic happened, right? What's the first thing that happened? We were quarantined. We were in lockdown. And the fear is, is that the same thing's going to happen again. Because there is no stockpile of the vaccine, they're going to limit people's contact again. They're going to limit people's ability to go to work, things like that. Because there's not enough stockpile and it's going to take months for them to develop and build a stockpile of this vaccine before they can release the restrictions. And here we go again, guys. Here we go again. So we know for a fact that the America, the United States, does have the vaccine for the H5N1 virus. The problem is, it's not readily available. Right now they're producing vaccines or medications for diabetes, for heart troubles, life-threatening conditions that folks have. Are they just going to stop producing those and switch on the H5N1 vaccine and pour that out? It's a complex issue and we're going to get caught again with our peruvial pants down. Texas, New Mexico, Colorado, Kansas, South Dakota, Idaho, North Carolina, Michigan, all states that have confirmed H5N1 infected cattle. That's up to date. So has the H5N1 become a serious issue? Not yet. But we also know that researchers, scientists, health organizations all over the world have been watching for this new pandemic, this new disease X, as they're calling it. And they've been keeping a very close watchful eye on the H5N1. There's no guarantee that they'll have the vaccine if it should jump to humans and become a pandemic level event, that there's no guarantee that there's going to be any kind of a stockpile for it. And it could take months to develop it. And even then, there's no guarantee that people will actually take the vaccine based upon past history. It could be highly problematic. Again, just some food for thought today, guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe to the channel now. Share this video out. Get the word out. And guys, if you know somebody that you care about, that you love, that's not awake yet, let's wake them up. Not Timmy66. Signing out for now. Have a good evening.